All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we're gonna be doing a um, update on my project, or my, oh my gosh. We're doing an update on my Pan That Palette. Pan those palettes, I have a couple. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Just a little preface, last month was a bit crazy for me. I was in the desert for two weeks uh, filming. And while I was there, because the lowest it got at night was 90 degrees and the highest it was about 115. Uh, I didn't wear any makeup for those two weeks. I mean, at sometimes I would put on mascara or like do, you know, fill in my brows a little bit, but none of those are Project Pan items. So that being said, uh, not as much progress as, hope, as I was hoping. Well, not as I was hoping, but I just didn't use my makeup as much as I was thinking. However, once I got back, these last two weeks have been very busy and I've been wearing makeup basically every day uh, with a few exceptions here and there. Thankfully, my skin is thankful for that. But other than that, like it's kind of, it was definitely a weird month where it was very, I mean, the whole month's been busy, but it was no makeup and then some makeup and then a lot of makeup and yeah. So usage, I don't know what the, how that translates to usage. I've been using the same stuff like the whole time. I've only been touching my Pan That Palette, Pan Those Palette eyeshadows. So yeah, let's get going for my MAC quad. We'll do pack pictures from last month and this month. Okay, so there's some changes. Um, the biggest thing is definitely this one. This one isn't technically part of my pan, that palette. It is a part of my Project 50 pan. It was a pigment that I pressed in just to make it a little easier on my life. But I mean, let's talk about it because it's here. The only thing I have left is right there in my Project 50 pan. I'm going to go ahead and call it that I finished it this month because there's like one use left and then I'll just, you know, I'll, I'm going to put it under this month so I can get rid of the packaging. Um, so yeah, cause I have like a little sample of pigment. I'm going to pack it away. I'm also moving next month. So next month's going to be wild. I don't even know what, or this month technically, I don't know what this month's going to look like. It's going to be crazy. Anywho. <laughs> uh, yeah, this has been expanded. There's like a lot more progress than what I'm thinking or what, than I thought there was going to be because I had those two weeks off, but there's a lot more than what I thought I was going to have so that, which is great. Uh, this is expanding, so that's great. And this is actually expanding a lot as well. Again, a lot more than what I was thinking, but there we go. Like, it looks like there's a lot of progress. I mean, a lot of, like, expansion of the pan compared, like, for a MAC shadow because <laughs> it's just taken forever. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm pushing through. And I'm also, I started a job that's going to be working. I'm going to be working, like, five days a week officially for, like, a couple months or for like a month and then also on top of that I have another job where on the weekends I'm gonna be for like three weekends in a row two to three weekends in a row I'm also gonna be working so I'm gonna be working every day for like like three weeks <laughs> which I'm excited for like it's great opportunities and this is how freelance goes sometimes there's like a dry spell and then it's like everyone wants you so yeah it's this is good but I'm gonna be stressed and tired and it's gonna be a lot Anyways, though, so there's going to be, I think what I'm going to be doing is really not wanting to wear much makeup or at least like just dipping into what I know, which is what project panning is great for because I know how to use these products and I know what look goes well with them. So I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of expansion on that as well. Um, again, I always like give myself freedom. I have other project pans that are kind of like on the, you know, sidelines because um, these are my priorities, but if I ever get bored, then I do dip into those eyeshadows as well. So I'm not ever restricting myself, but uh, yeah. So that's that. Maybe we'll get more like expansion. I would love for it just to like really, I really want to finish this by the end of the year, but we'll see. I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so the next one's going to be my IBY Beauty Little Trio. And I'm currently only working on one shade in it. But eventually, once this quad's done, I'll start working on the other shades in it. So yeah, let's do pictures from last month and this month. Okay, so as you can see, there is, look at that side pan, finally. It only took forever in a day. But yeah, this is, I mean, I'm not necessarily mad at it because, you know, like it's a matte shade 
brown shade that I'm gonna have to get somewhere else. So whatever, it's like a staple eyeshadow color um, for my look, but you know, one less brown eyeshadow will be nice. But yeah, this is, I mean, of course it took forever in a day. Look how much, basically like the rest of it was all like right here, right? So look at all of this product I had to use up. And I am using it up slowly. Um, yeah, it's just gonna take a lot longer than what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure like three or four months ago, I was like, oh, it'll be gone in three or four months. <laughs> it's still kicking, but you know, it's a staple. So it's, it's good. I'm not tired of the shade or anything like that. It's just one of those things where it's like, you know what? One less eyeshadow in my collection would be great. But here it is, it's good and it's still working and we're we're great. And I can't wait to start moving on to the rest of the uh, trio. Okay, and next is going to be my Hourglass Eye Face Palette. My Hourglass Face Palette. My words are like losing myself. So yeah, last month and this month. Okay, so uh, as predicted, basically every single month I'm increasing like another little row of these squares right here. So that's great. Um, and on top of that, it is flattening the dome a little bit. I think you can see there, but yeah, I mean, still using it, still going, just can't wait for this thing to be done because especially with traveling, it's a lot of packaging just to bring one highlighter. So yeah, I mean, if it ever becomes an issue, then I won't have it. And I'm sure I can like crush it out and use it as a, a loose highlighter, but I'm just not there yet. For now, it's fine, but I just can't wait for this be to be done. <laughs> so that's that one. And in terms of goals for next month, I mean, who knows? Uh, goals slash predictions. For sure, just expanding the pan, just freaking expanding the pan. I would love to get to a place um, next month or the month after where I have to repress this shadow because I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because yeah it's really starting to get deep into the pan before it was relatively flat but now it's really starting to like slope into it which is great um, and it'll be hard eventually to get my brush in there and so once that happens I will gladly repress it and that'll be fun this one I mean again I'm, I don't know I just I try to hit side pan but I, I just don't, <laughs> I just don't, I don't know. We'll see whatever happens with that happens and we're good with that. Um, the IBY beauty little guy, I mean, I will just want to continue to expand that side pan. That's pretty good for me right now. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe what we can do is get like up to there, like to where this part right here is cleared. We'll see no pressure or anything like that. And I mean, just for the heck of it, I would love for this to expand one more row and complete complete out one more row. Um, that seems to be the pattern of what I've been doing anyways, but hopefully we'll do that. I would love one day to expand it to two rows. That would be awesome, but that's probably not gonna happen until the very end. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. I hope your project pans are in Pan Meadows palettes are also going well. <laughs> and yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.